Yo, what's good friends? It's Jonathan and I'm in Chicago. And I've been using the OnePlus 7 Pro for a while. Those two things, they don't really go together. But what does go together is a what's on my phone video from my OnePlus 7 Pro. And that's what we're gonna do. So the case that I'm using is the sandstone case from OnePlus. I love this case because it's reminiscent to the original OnePlus One. It's thin, it's lightweight, has open and top access, and uh, yeah, it gives me enough protection. Not a whole lot, but enough. On the front, I have a white stone dome tempered glass screen protector. They are expensive, and the install process is pretty tedious, but um, once you use a white stone dome uh, tempered glass screen protector, you really can't go back to a regular one. You know, one thing I forgot to mention is that the White Stone Dome screen protector has like the best oleophobic coating in the game. Like it is so smooth and silky. So I'm over here at the Bean doing some sightseeing. I figured this is a good opportunity for me to tell you what is on the first page of my OnePlus 7 Pro. So for my launcher, I'm not using Oxygen OS. It's not that I have anything against it. I just prefer to have my Google Now feed. So I'm using Nova with the Google Companion add-on. That way when I swipe to the left, I can access my Google Now feed. And then on the front, I have the at a glance widget, which is actually stock on all Android phones because Google makes it. You just gotta go into your settings, into widgets and just find the Google uh, at a glance widget. Then I have two folders. I have Google and I have my social folder. In my Google folder, I have like my day to day Google apps, you know, calendar, maps, Play Store, things like that. And then in my social folder, I have all stock social apps because I don't want to deal with any BS or missing features from third party apps. So I just use stock apps just a little bit easier. For my music app of choice, I use Spotify. I am doing the experimental thing again where I bounce between music apps, but right now I'm just feeling Spotify a lot. Now at the bottom I have my dialer app, Air Message. If you missed my how to turn your Android into an iPhone video, it's linked at the card at the top. But if you don't know, Air Message will allow you to get iMessage on your Android phone, so definitely a major win there. And then I have uh, my stock camera app. Spark is an awesome email app. And what I really like about Spark is they've been doing a great job at updating their software. So now my signature and all my accounts from iOS sync with the Android version of Spark. So thumbs up to Spark for updating their app. And then of course, Chrome, because it's Android and that's the best browser for Android. We'll go ahead and dive into my little app tray here and I'm gonna go through a few apps. I have AccuWeather, which is my weather app of choice. It's just simple, easy to read, easy to find what I'm looking for, so that's why I use it. I have AirMessage, of course. Alt-C is another app, just like AirMessage, that I went over in my turning your Android to an iPhone video. If you missed it, you should really watch it. But basically, it's how you're able to copy something from like your MacBook and then paste it onto the OnePlus. Really, really cool app. Uh, Amazon B&H, you know, for shopping, Beachbody Fitness. You know, I'm trying to get that Beachbody. I might get it when I'm dead. And when I'm on, you know, like trips and I can't make it to the gym, it's a good way to bust out a workout real quick. Beat Stars, in case you guys didn't know, I'm a huge hip hop head and I actually used to rhyme myself. I did multiple mixtapes. I actually made several albums for people, including myself. And Beat Stars is an awesome app that I can look at instrumentals and keep up with some stuff that's going on from the you know, uh, beat producers that I used to correlate with. So it's, it's a really cool app. Bitdefender, you guys know how I feel about that. If you wanna protect your phone, protect your assets, your laptop, your desktop, go ahead and check out Bitdefender. You can get uh, 90 days for free on me down in the description. Awesome app for VPN, protecting your privacy, all that good stuff. Uh, we'll go ahead and keep going. We got the calculator app, calendar. We don't need to go over all that. Stock camera app, I do have another camera app, we'll cover it in just a little bit. Carb manager, because just to you know, go along with uh, Beachbody, trying to watch what I eat in terms of carbs, because I'm also trying to stay on the keto diet, which on this trip I've already fallen out, but for the most part, I use carb manager to keep up with my carbs. Chase for banking, uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm about to go get something to eat here in a minute. So I'll watch my carbs, maybe. Probably not. Sometimes I'm at the peak and other times I'm about to fall. 
all Sometimes I gotta wonder what I'm doing here at all Sometimes in my mind I just sit here and I'm guessing How can I find the answers? I don't even got the questions Sometimes I'm, right, so I'm about to input my carbs into my carb manager We got beer, pizza, and wings Should, Shouldn't be too bad, right? All right, so the next thing I want to talk about is Feedly. Feedly is my news app of choice. It allows you to go in and pick the categories that you want to follow, and then it's going to give you up-to-date stories based on the categories that you followed. I use it on all my phones, so it's nothing new, but if you're new to the channel, this is a news app of choice that I personally use, and I love the black mode. We'll go ahead and go back. Filmic Pro is the app that I use in order to get a little bit more out of my you know, smartphone camera when it comes to video. It gives you tons of flexibility. You can change the bit rate, the frame rate, the uh, shutter speed, the ISO, the white balance. You can adjust your microphone levels. Like it is a great app in terms of getting higher quality video out of your smartphone. Furbo is how I you know, stay in contact with my dog. I can view a live feed of him and I can also send him a treat. Danny did a great job on explaining the features in detail. So I'll link his video at a card at the top. Gbox is a great app if you're an Instagrammer. You can do like a, a nine grid mode where it showcases like your, your last nine photos in a grid so you can you know, keep posting and, and matching that little series that you're doing. You can do a color picker, creative fonts. I don't know, there's tons of stuff in here. It's free, so I highly suggest that you check it out. Then we have uh, Goat, which is a sneakers app. I'm not gonna get into detail about that. You guys probably already know what Goat is if you're into sneakers. Horror Field is a great game for mobile that basically is a spin-off of uh, Dead by Daylight for Xbox and PC. So you can either be a serial killer or you can be a survivor. And uh, Instamic is the app to control the small little Instamics. I did a video on them, card at the top. But uh, it, you can control the levels and you can also monitor your audio. Kicks on Fire is another great like sneaker retailer. You're probably catching a trend here. I do like shoes. Uh, LastPass is my password manager of choice. Lifex, don't need to get into detail about that. Lightroom is how I edit my photos. I actually have a process and I use two apps. I use Lightroom and I use Visco. And we'll get into detail about Visco here in just a minute. Uh, Mortal Kombat is the other game I have on my phone. You guys probably already know about Mortal Kombat, but what I like about it is recently they updated this game so now it can link to your uh, console game and you can add features that you find in the crypt on your console to the mobile game. It's really cool how they tied the two together. Movi is controlling the Movi Cinema robot for your you know, mobile device, in this case, the OnePlus 7 Pro. Uh, Netflix, gotta stay up to date on Stranger Things and stuff like that, even on the go on my mobile. Oculus is for the Oculus Quest, which I do have a video coming out soon. The best damn VR headset I have ever used, and I love the capabilities, and I love where VR is going, so. Definitely stay tuned for that. OneDrive and OneNote are part of the Microsoft suite. That's how I write scripts and you know store files, uh, you know take some notes. Photoshop Express, I don't really use it too much. Um, I'm more of a Lightroom person, but if I need to remove like an object from an image on mobile, I'll use Photoshop Express. PixPy Icon Pack is the icon pack that I'm using in conjunction with Nova Launcher. Uh, Remo Plus is a doorbell that I've been using. I really like it. For less than 100 bucks, I always get my notifications, way more than Ring, and it's been on point. And I, I, like I said, I did a video on it, card at the top. Resplash is where I get my wallpapers from. So if you're curious about this wallpaper, it actually came from Resplash. And it, they, they update it like every day. And you can actually have your wallpaper change every day with Resplash. And uh, let's see, we got Retouch. Retouch is awesome for object removal as well. It's a really, really great app super fast and easy and if i can't do it in retouch that's when i'll bring it into photoshop express send anywhere is another app from my turn your android into an iphone video it basically gives you airdrop on android you you, you guys definitely need to check that out like it's free sneakers and soul links another or two more uh, sneakers apps let's see uh stadium goods another sneakers app StockX. you guys are seeing the trend here Microsoft To Do is a free to do app and now that they actually have a dedicated desktop app for Mac, this is the to do app to beat. It's completely free and they have tons of features so I highly suggest that you check that out. Visco, that's the second part of my photo editing process. I start with 
uh, Lightroom, do all the basic corrections, and then I apply my filter and grade and Visco. And Visco also supports video now, which is really, really cool. Uh, let's see, and zero is how I monitor my fasting. Um, just being on the ketogenic diet, I also do intermittent fasting, basically a, an eight hour eating time or eating window and then 16 hour fast. And this is how I can start and stop all of my fast and you know stay up to date with that. But yeah, that's about, that's about it. My phone battery is about dead. My personal battery is about dead. I've been walking probably for about 10 miles in this city. I have no idea where I'm at. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe you were able to pick some things you know, up that I'm using on my phone. Links to all this stuff can be found in the description. If there's anything you want me to check out, whether it's a case, screen protector, an app, leave it down below in the comment section. If you're not following me on social, I don't know what the hell you're waiting on. Just go ahead and do that because it's always popping over there and I love hearing back from you guys. And other than that, I'll talk to you. I don't even know what kind of joke I'm gonna throw in here, so I'm just gonna leave it blank. Beautiful individuals in the next video. Where are we eating at? Uh, uh, I don't know if you say portillos. Por portillos. Or portillos, maybe? That's possibly. Portillos. Armadillos. Hot dogs, though. Hot dogs. And a, a wet sandwich. One in Chicago. Let's go. The folks on Twitter said we had to eat here. Really? This is popping. Mm. Oh yeah. I'm down for that. That's pretty good. Sometimes I'm at the peak and other times I'm about to fall Sometimes I gotta wonder what I'm doing here at all Sometimes in my mind I just sit here and I'm guessing How can I find the answers? I don't even got the questions Sometimes I'm at the peak and other times I'm about to fall Sometimes I gotta wonder what I'm doing